They have asked the government to help them achieve this goal. The family also believes his principles are still being undermined more than 20 years into the democratic era. The Karu town of Rafrenet, it was home to Robert Sobukwe. He grew up here in this house in the 1930s. As a man, he made his mark in South African politics. He was instrumental in organizing the uprising that led to the Savile Massacre in 1960. Two years before that, he broke away from the ANC, disagreeing about the non-racial policy of the ANC. But it is his role in the struggle that is seemingly overlooked. His son, Dinlis feels his story, in spite of the learning center and museums built in his honor, is not told as part of the liberation. The Sobukwe family demands equal recognition to the ANC leaders that were imprisoned on Robben Island. Now, as Freedom Day is celebrated again, the family says it is not as relevant as it should because Sobukwe's legacy is not being advanced. I'm sure it is something that um, uh, many people feel uh, pain by. Um, and then again, he was not the only person who's not recognized who did struggle for the liberation of this country. Uh, be that as it may, as I just said, though, um, it is not for us to uh, wonder why. Uh, it is those in power that should uh, um, know why they make those decisions. The case is, is within its right to demand from the government to recognize Sobukwe, to recognize Mutupeng, Masemola and other stalwarts of the PC, and of not only the PC, the Black Consciousness Movement as well. Steve Biko was not the only one. Eastern Cape Arts and Culture MEC Pemi Machodina refused the claims made by the Sobukwe family. She says the government has put a special focus on the Sobukwe family and other PAC leaders whom are buried outside the country. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Graf Reynet.